Yo, today I'm going to show you how to make your MIDI sound instantly better in Studio One. My name is Nick Roller, I'm a producer and a mixing engineer from Australia. Let's get into the video. All right, so I've got this thing happening. It's kind of crazy. It sounds like this. And I will say, it kind of sucks, that's fine. This is just to show you the technique. And I'm using Xenology for the first time today by Roland Cloud. It's pretty cool, there's a lot of stuff on here. I'll do a better, more in-depth tutorial on the Roland product soon. As you can hear, it sounds good, but the performance isn't particularly inspiring because it's all quantized and all of the velocity is completely the same throughout. You know what I mean? It's like, it's fine. So what we're gonna do, and I have talked about this before in context of drums, but you can use it on any MIDI signal and that's called humanize. So we're gonna command A, highlight everything, right click and humanize, which is under musical functions and in the quantize section. Once you open that up, you'll get this window here. Now it's cool. Basically you can either change the velocity or the timing of the note or both if you'd like. And there are some more in-depth kind of functions inside of Studio One that you can use, but I like Humanize. It's simple, it's quick, and it does the job. There's some more intricate stuff with quantizing where you can change how long notes are. You can randomize notes. Like there are a lot of features, but for me, this one works really well. It can be handy to just zero everything out before you start. So velocity, if it goes lower, it gets softer, you know, instead of it being ah, it's ah, that makes sense. The note range, if you want it to drag, you can slow it down. If you want it to be a bit more rush, you can speed it up. I find with this that less is often more, but let's start with an extreme example. I'm gonna drop the velocity with these ranges. So basically it's just gonna randomize functions between 20, minus 20% and above 20%. Some notes will be somewhere in between, some will be on the extremes. It's pretty random, which is cool. That makes it human, right? And then add note start range, let's, I don't know, that's, Put it all the way and see how that sounds. As you can see, everything moved. That's good. So that wasn't quite what I was after, so I'm gonna try it again. Why don't this time I, cause that puts everything early, let's put everything late. So it sounds more realistic, like that sounds like a person playing it compared to this. It's not quite perfect again because I've gone with quite extreme settings. So here's my process and I use this quite a lot. I record, <laughs> it's kind of ironic, I'll record stuff on my keyboard so I'll have human played stuff. Sometimes the timing's bad. Sometimes the velocity just isn't quite right. So I will highlight everything. I'll quantize it so it's all perfect. I'll smash up the velocity to 100% and then I'll pull it down and then I'll humanize. It's kind of backwards, but I like the results. Next thing that I tend to do is I make a choice. Do I want it to go louder? Because I've got a baseline, right? I just made everything quite soft with the velocity. So do I want it to go louder than that? or softer than that, sometimes both, often just the one. Let's say I want it to go 10% louder and I don't know, 3% softer, pretty small margins. The start, I want it to drag slightly. So let's just do like a little bit, 10%. I assume that's 10%. So it's pretty subtle, you know, it's just dragging slightly. You can see the velocities have just changed a little bit. as opposed to like it is quite subtle. We can definitely push it a little bit more and I feel like just little increments. Let's just punch it a bit harder. There 
then back to what it was. Back to the humanist. It's sort of things like this that really add up over the course of a track. And obviously, as I said, you can kind of push it harder. I probably would push it harder. Like that's still not really making that much of a difference. Let's go 20%. There we go. And listening to that, these E's are pushing a little bit too hot on the velocity side of things. So I would just turn those down manually if I was happy with everything else. And yeah, you can use this for bass, for drums, for keys, for melodies, like anything MIDI related, you can do it. Sometimes you wanna just move the velocity, sometimes just the uh, timing, really just depends what kind of vibe you're going for. It's not always the place that you want something to feel human, sometimes you want it to just be perfectly the same every time, and that's completely fine. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I'm assuming you use Studio One. If you do, there is a link below to a free Studio One course about producing a song in studio one from start to finish i've also got a bunch of free presets in studio one a free plugin that i made which is kind of an average plugin but a bit of fun and there's also a link to a vocal mixing course it just runs you through the basics of pitch correction and processing vocals i do a lot of vocal mixing so that's there if you're interested if you need a mixing engineer or a producer you can also hire me check out my work below in my website goodbye